Good Shabbos, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Boi Shabbat. Ba Shabbat. Ba Shabbat Menucha. Shabbat, 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 Menucha. Bochem v'simacha, Bochem v'simacha, Shabbat, Shabbat, Menucha. Boachem v'simacha, Boachem v'simacha, Shabbat, Shabbat, Menucha. Lehan da di li kat kala bene shabat ni kabela lehan da di li kat kala bene shabat ni kabela lehan da di lehan da di li kat kala bene shabat ni kabela lehan da di li kat kala Penei Shabbat Nikabela Boi Boi Vishalom Ateret Balav Gam Vesimcha Uvitzoch Alav Toch Emonei Am Segolo Shabbat Shalom to all of you and welcome again to our home on the Shabbat Eve and we hope we're welcome in your home as well. Uh, once again, we are uh, presenting our service, um, I can't say live, but on YouTube and so that you can watch it and share it with anybody you wish. I'd like to uh, begin with an opening prayer. Gathered together now that the shadows of evening have fallen, we open our hearts to the sweet and comforting influences of Shabbat. We thank you for all your blessings and for the ceaseless flow of your goodness that we receive every single day. When we are tried by sorrow and times of difficulty, it is not that you have forsaken us. We know that you are, you are always, always with us, us guiding, guiding us, us along the path, path of life. As, as we confront these ordeals, may we draw comfort from the hope and confidence that, that better days, days come will again. come again. In time, In time may we be able, able to thank, to thank you, you for having granted, granted us strength the strength to endure, to endure our trials. trials. Amen. And now we, we continue with the traditional singing of Shalom Aleichem. We say... Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hasharet, Malachi Elyon. Come to us in peace, O oh, messengers of peace, O oh, angels of God the Most High, and stay with us in peace, be with us, and when you depart, we sing and we say, we ask, return to us, return to us soon. 
next Shabbat. Malachi Hashad. Shalom Aleichem, we join together. And now if you have Shabbat candles in your home, we hope that you will kindle them now as we do. And we will join first in the introduction to our candle lighting. Come, let us welcome Shabbat. May its radiance illumine our hearts as we kindle these tapers. Light is the symbol of the divine. The eternal God is our light and our salvation. Light is the symbol of the holiness within each of us. The human spirit is the light of God. Light is a symbol of the Torah's teachings. For the commandments are our lamps, and the Torah is a light. Light is the symbol of our people's purpose, as it is written to serve as a light to the nations. Therefore, Therefore in, the, in spirit the spirit of our, our ancient, ancient tradition, tradition that, that hallows and unites our people in, in all lands and, lands and all ages. ages. Let, Let us now kindle the lights of Shabbat. Shabbat Shabbat Shalom, Maya Fehayom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Rabbi join me, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. May God Shabbos. bless us with Shabbat joy. May God bless us with Shabbat holiness. May, May God, God bless, bless us with, with Shabbat, Shabbat peace. peace. Amen. Uh, amen. Good Shabbos, everybody.
And we can we'll continue now with the, uh, the blessing over the wine, the Kiddush. So if you have handy a Kiddush cup or any cup that will hold wine, let us lift it together and chant. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Borei peri hagafen, Amen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher kishanu b'mitzvotam, Viratzavonu, Vishabbat kodesho, Biahava uvrason, in Chilanu, Zikaron limaase, Vereishit, Kihuyom tehilah, Lemikra e kodesh, Zecher litziyat, Misraim. Take it away, Rabbi. Kivanu vacharta, Viotanu kidashta, Mikal haamim, Vishabat kochecha, Viahava uvratzon, Hinchaltanu. Baruch ata Adonai, Baruch uveru shemo, Mekadesh ha-shabbat, Amen. L'chaim, l'simcha. That was really an awful rendition of the Kiddush, but l'chaim no, anyway. Good, it was heartfelt. Mm. L'abriyut, to good health. So we continue now with the Baruch Hu and the Shema. Please join us. Baruch Hu et Adonai HaMivorach Baruch Adonai HaMivorach Le'olam Ba'ed And together we join in chanting Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Shemot Malechuto Le'olam Ba'ed And we ask you to join us in the continuation of the Shema, chanting the Hafta according to the cantillations of the Torah. Vishinon Tom Livanecho, Vidi Bar Tapom, Vishinon Ukashar Tom Leot Al Yadeho Vehayuli Tota Fohot Bain E Neho Ukhatav Tom Al Mizuzo Beteho Uvi Shareho Leman Tiskeru Vaasitem et komitz votai, vitem kedoshim le elohechem. Ani Adonai elohechem, asher hotzeti etrem me eretz mitzrayim, liot lachem le elohim. Ani Adonai Elohechem, Adonai Elohechem, Amen. From our prayer book, 
we affirm that there is only one God. Through God's power have our people been redeemed from the hands of oppressors and difficult circumstances. Great deeds have been wrought on our behalf and wonders without number. The Eternal One was with us during the long years of oppression. Our faith sustained us even when our people suffered the deepest of anguish. And now that we live in this land of freedom, may we be faithful to the teachings of our Torah. May God guide the lives of all people and unite all hearts in friendship and in respect. We turn now to the Amidah, or Tefillah prayer as we call it, the 18 blessings. And I believe many of you know the words and the melody. So please join us in the first paragraph. Adonai, Sifatai Tiftach, Ufi Agi Tehilatecha. Adonai, open up my lips, that our mouths may declare your glory. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohe Avotinu v'imoteinu, Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sara, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leia, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor v'hanora, El Elyon, Gomel chasadim tovim, v'kone hakol, v'zocher chaste avot v'imahot, u'mevi geula l'ivnei v'neihem, l'man shemo v'ahava, melech ozeh, u'moshia u'magen, baruch atah Adonai, Magen Avraham, Ve'ezerat We continue now with a prayer for peace. O God, you have called our people Israel to your service. You have charged us to exemplify the ideals of Torah among the people of the earth. Give us grace to fulfill this mission with enthusiasm and with joy, always guided by respect for other faith, people's faiths and ideals. May our lives attest to the strength of our convictions. May, May our, our conduct, conduct toward, toward our, our neighbors and our, our compassion for those in need show that the one whose law we obey is, is the loving creator of all people. people. Grant us peace, your most precious gift, O eternal source of peace, and enable us all to be messengers of justice, of peace, of goodness in this world. We join together, Ose Shalom with Albert. Thank you, Albert, yay. <laughs> O se shalom, shalom bim ramal, o ya se shalom aleinu, ve al kol Yisrael, ve imeru amen. O ya se shalom aleinu, Shalom, Aleinu, Ve'al Kol Yisrael, Ve'imiru, Amen. Ve'al Kol Yisrael,
as we do every week in our own synagogue and as we have been doing, especially as we've been uh, praying and worshiping uh, together, but in different places, we express our wishes for those who are ill and God willing recovering, uh, letting them know that uh, we are praying for them and offer our best wishes for a speedy recovery. So in that spirit, let's join together in Misha Beirach. May the source of strength who blessed the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen Bless those in need of healing with refuah shalema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say, Amen. Amen. Well, uh, although we do essentially the same Shabbat Eve, ser Eve service every week, a little variety will not hurt at all. And uh, we have uh, this evening a Haftorah section taken from the book of Jeremiah that I'll, I'll allude to later on when I uh, give some remarks. And so uh, I'm sure those of you who that had bar and bat mitzvahs must uh, remember the Haftorah blessings uh, probably drilled into you by your Hebrew teacher or perhaps Cantor. Uh, so uh, if, if you know the blessings, hope you'll join in with us. And then, of course, Cantor Bard will chant for us some of the verses from the prophet Jeremiah. So we join together. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Binibim Tovim V'ratzah B'divrehem Ha'nemarim Be'emet Baruch atah Adonai Habocher b'Torah, Uvi Moshe Avdo, Uvi Yisrael Amo, Uvi Nviei Ha'emet Fatzedek. Adonai Uzi. Adonai 
Bitsy Poren. Sorry, Bitsy Poren. Shamir. Harusha al Luach Libam. Ule Karanot Misbechotechem. Vikor benehem misbechotam va asherehem al etzranon al givot hagivot harari basade חילך חול עוצרותך לבוז אתן במותך בחטאת בכל גבולך ושמעת ובך מנחלתך אשר נתתי לך והעבדתיך את אויבך בארץ אשר לא ידעת כי אש כדחתם באפי עד עולם תוקן. And from the very conclusion of, of the Haftarah, which is a, a powerful um, statement that resonates with all of us right now, in this moment. And that's from verse 14. Rifaini Adonai Ve'erafel Hoshienu Ve'ivasheyo Ki Ki Tehilati Ata And that translates Rifaini Heal me Adonai and let me, may I be healed, Hoshieni v'iva she'a, save us, save me, and may I be saved. Ki tihilati ata, for you, O God, you are with me, and there is your glory always with me. And we join in the concluding Haftarah blessing. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech haolam Tzur kol haolamim Tzadik bechol hadorot Ha'el ha'neman Ha'omer ve'osel Ha'medaber u'mekayem Shekol devarav emet v'atzedek על התורה ועל העבודה ועל הנביאים ועל יום השבת הזה שנתת לנו אדוני אלוהינו לקדושה ולמנוחה לכבוד ולתפארת על הכל אדוני אלוהינו אנחנו מודים לך ומברכים אותך, יתברך שמך בפי כל חי, תמיד לעולם ועד. ברוך אתה אדוני, ברוך הוא וראש שמו, מקדש השבת. אמן. Blessed are you, O oh God, for all of our gifts, all of our blessings, for the opportunity to make Shabbat together, for the goodness that is in our lives, for the opportunity to study and learn together. Blessed are you, O oh God, who sanctifies the Shabbat. Amen. Amen. Have a seat, Cantor. Begin.
Again, Shabbat Shalom, and uh, it's that time of week again. And uh, I have some thoughts I'd like to share with you. Uh, first comes the good news. I've been uh, speaking for uh, many members, too many members of our temple, uh, and I can report some uh, important and terrific observations. Uh, first and foremost, everyone, everyone in our immediate congregational family is okay, Yay. as are their family members. And I am positive that the most important reason for this is that our members definitely are following the guidelines. They have told me so, and that's what is so incredibly essential. Of course, uh, we've all got spilkus, but I am incredibly impressed that our members are expressing both patience and perspective. Yes, perspective. Perhaps that is because, uh, in general, we are a little wiser congregation because we've been around a little longer than most other members of other temples. But uh, whatever the reason, uh, we do possess a, pos a perspective. Uh, and uh, I think it's important to note that most of our members, most of our members have vivid memories of far worse and much more tragic times than what we are currently going through. Um, it's really hard to tell with all the talking heads on the news and the things that we read in the papers and so on, whether there is a reason for true alarm or whether a lot of this is simply panic and perhaps even hysteria. So let's be clear about a few things. Uh, this is not the bubonic plague. It is not the Spanish flu or smallpox from which uh, many millions, dozens of millions of lives were lost. This is not World War I or World War II, in which, yes, over 75 million people lost their lives, including, of course, six million of our own. And this is not the Great Depression, which altered so many lives irreparably, and when at that time there was no safety net in place in our government or our society. So let's try to keep things in a little bit of perspective. Americans of the 20th century, the 20th, were called to endure far more than we can even imagine. And all that we are asked to do is to stay at home, and when we do go out, as we must from time to time, to practice social distancing and to wear a mask. I know, I know, it's a little uncomfortable to wear a mask. We're not used to it. Uh, and so please just keep it up. So here we are in our, our third month of the coronavirus pandemic, and we are all, yes, anxious for this to pass, and we are anxious for our lives to return to normal, uh, whatever normal will be. No one really knows, of course, but I remain optimistic, and I hope you do too. We are, after all, a resilient country, a resilient people. And we Jews in particular know what it is to bounce back from tough times. In the past, difficult times always seem to bring people together. For example, as shocking as 9-11 was, it absolutely brought out the best in our nation. We are going to transcend this, tri this crisis too if we just stick together. I'm convinced of that, but I'm sorry to say that is a big if. Uh, this is a time that calls for unity in our nation and among us all. And we know, yes, we have to admit that we could be doing quite a bit better. This should not be a time for scoring points against the other side, uh, but that is exactly what it is becoming in the media and in the government, and unfortunately, I have to say, in the lives of everyday Americans. We simply should be a lot more considerate of one another. Whether or not to wear a protective face mask should not ever be a matter of contention. It shouldn't even be debatable, actually, and most certainly it should not be a cause for physical altercations or verbal abuse, as all too often it seems to be. There should be nothing but total cooperation across the board, and that goes for every one of us. Finding common ground really should not be all that daunting because, after all, we have only one common enemy. 
We should always keep in mind what the great president Abraham Lincoln said to the people when he was actually just running for the Senate and not the White House. He said, words that we all will remember, a house divided against itself cannot stand. The pandemic has not yet exactly brought out the best in us, but there is time, we know, and it still can. And I so hope that it will, and I'm positive that you feel the same way as well. A lot of people these days are saying, well, we, we're in this together, and we'll get through it together. And it's kind of a pep talk, a good one, not, not bad, I admit. But these phrases, as well-intentioned as they are, have become a little bit of a cliche, and they really do not tell the story properly. In many respects, we are not exactly in the same place in this pandemic. Everyone is dealing with it in their own particular and unique ways. First, look at those that whom coronavirus has so far disproportionately affected. And by that, I mean people of color and the poor, the elderly, and especially those living in highly concentrated population areas, many of which are unfortunately impoverished. For example, the barber or the food server or the store clerk who's been unemployed for the past two, three months really is not in this together with a Fortune 500 CEO. A single mom who still has to go to work while keeping her children home and also homeschooling them is having a very different pandemic experience than, for example, the, culprit, the corporate consultant who can stay home and can keep working and receiving a, a salary by telecommuting. The sad souls who are unable to overcome depression or even substance abuse caused by the fallout from job loss or lo losing a loved one they are not exactly together with those of us who thankfully have the support of family and friends and dear ones. The nurses, the doctors, the, the first responders, and the caregivers on the front lines of treating the COVID-19 patients, they are not in this pandemic in the same way as the vast majority of us. Let me express, I must express, on behalf of all of us, our incredibly deep respect and appreciation for all those who are putting their lives on the line every single day. Many have come out of retirement to be of assistance, and we can never thank them enough for all that they are doing for us. Wow, I say, just wow. Where would we be if they had taken the easy way out and remained safely in retirement? But so many have not. And so, yes, in, in many respects, we are far from being in the, same, in the same place together. Each one of us has our own story and so much, some so much more desperate than many others. But this much we can realize that we are all in this together, which means fundamentally this, that although our paths are different, our experiences are somewhat different and varied, not one of us is immune, and not one of us is invulnerable. We are all in that same boat in this pandemic world. And so I say this to you, and really I wish I could say it to everyone, that we should start acting more that way. It is so essential that there should be a calmer and less confrontational tone than what we are experiencing. We all want this pandemic to come under control, as soon as is humanly possible. And the scientists are doing their job, we know they are, but we all have a role to play. And it's worth noting that the Haftorah for the Shabbat is taken from the book of Jeremiah, as Canterbard mentioned. Uh, Jeremiah was a prophet during extremely difficult times, leading up to and including the destruction of the ancient temple in Jerusalem, and a, a very dismal time for the Jewish people. And his role was not only to warn them, but also to console them uh, at a time when Israel was conquered, the people were sent into exile, and uh, that really could have been the end of the Jewish people. Uh, and in response to their need, 
he offered a, a short and simple prayer. He said it in the singular, but he really meant it as a prayer for everyone. When he said, save me, really save us and we shall be saved, heal us and we shall be healed. And I think that his intention was very clear. His prayer was not to me meant to convey that, well, everybody's on their own now in the exile. Rather, we are, are in this together in the same boat, if you will. And so heal us, God, give us a strength and we will be healed because he understood that the future redemption of our people would be dependent upon the covenant, upon all of us thinking collectively as we are one people. I would like to share with you now a brief meditation, um, a bit of wisdom, great wisdom, powerful wisdom, um, by the one and only Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. This is a prelude to our, our Kaddish, our time of, of memorial, the Shabbat. Strange is our situation here upon earth. Each of us comes for a short visit, not knowing why, yet sometimes seeming to divin a purpose. From the standpoint of daily life, however, there is one thing we do know that we are here for the sake of each other, above all, for those upon whose smile and well-being our own happiness depends, and also for the countless unknown souls with whose fate we are connected by a bond of sympathy. Many times a day I realize how much my own outer and inner life is built upon the labors of others, both living and dead, and how earnestly I must exert myself in order to give in return as much as I have received and am still receiving. We turn now to the Kaddish, and on this Shabbat, these are the yort sites that we observe. Uh, Iris Roback remembers Louis Levine. Linda Hoffman and Craig Hoffman remember Art Sampson. Bela Colton remembers Edward Colton. And Cantor Bard remembers her father, Jack Justin Bard. We also announce uh, with sadness the deaths this week of uh, Arnie Sokol, the father of Rob, grandfather of Sophia and husband of Judy, and to their entire family, we express our sympathy. It's also with heartfelt sorrow that I announce the passing of Rabbi Larry Maher, who was the interim rabbi for Temple Bethel when the congregation moved from 75th Street to 32nd Street. Uh, he wasn't with us all that long, but I know for many, he left a lasting impression, and may he rest in peace. And so in memory of all of them, as well as in memory of our own dear ones that we've lost in times gone by, we join together in the Kaddish. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shemei rabah b'alma divra chirutei b'am lich malchutei v'chayei chon u'v'yomei chon u'chayei d'chal b'et Yisrael b'agalah v'zman kari v'imru amein. Yehe Shemei Rabba Mivarach Lialam Ula Meal Maya Yiparach Vishtabach Vipar Vitromam Vietnase Vitadar Vitale Vitalal Shemei de Kudisha Brihu La Elam in Kalbir Hata Vashirata Tushva Hata Vanechemata Damiran Bialma Vimru Ame Yehe Shlama Rabba Minshamaya Vichayim Aleinu v'yalkal Yisrael v'imru amen. O se shalom b'mromav hu yase shalom. Aleinu v'yalkal Yisrael v'imru amen. May the source of peace send peace to all who mourn and bring comfort to all who are bereaved. And let us say, Amen. O se shalom v'mromav hu yase shalom Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael 
the Imeru, Imeru, Amen. Yaas Shalom, Yaas Shalom, Shalom Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael. Yaas Shalom, Yaas Shalom, Shalom Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael. Yaas Shalom, Yaas Shalom. Shalom Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael. Yaase Shalom, Yaase Shalom. Shalom Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael. Yaase Shalom, Yaase Shalom. Shalom Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael. Ve'em ru, Amen. Adonai ve'in baruch kevein ahamram E'in gidolah v'atohora ve'in tarashech ha'ke Yisrael Mipiel, mipiel, yevorach ko Yisrael Mipiel, mipiel, yevorach ko Yisrael Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom, Shalom to all of you. Have a good week and stay well, stay strong, and we'll miss you. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>